Good morning guys, how are you guys doing? So I'm going to bring you guys along. Today is our graduation. So when I mean graduation, I mean like um, for year two students. So today is their graduation ceremony and I'm definitely going to bring you guys along. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. I said yet to you guys we're actually done with our year one exam so it is also good to say that we are now year two students kiki so by this time next year by god's grace i'll also be doing like my graduation pari paris carter paris carter <laughs> anyway so i've gone ahead now to clean my face with cleanser i'm making use of this anti blemish cleanser that is what it looks like the next thing i'm going to go in now is with this toner just to like tone my skin because i'm not going to be making up actually i don't really make up i'm not like a makeup person mm -hmm. so i just make sure that i make use of like my skincare products so that my skin can be glowing okay um for me once i'm done with like the skincare prep and all of that i'm good to go for the day literally so after that i'll just go in with my rose water so this is basically just like hydrate my skin so that my skin don't look too dry you know during the day so i'll also be going just like little drop of it just like hydrate the skin so you guys this is like of course this is like my first time attending you know graduation here because this is like my first graduation here in this school so i'm literally just gonna like what bring you guys along and i'm so happy for them because it's actually not easy anyways my observation or the difference between this convocation here and back in nigeria is the fact that you know back in nigeria or back in your own country and all of that you have like your family will come around there's a lot of cooking your parents are there but for this i'm using rose water to hydrate like my neck since i'm putting on like off shoulder so in nigeria for an example you have like your family your friends they are all around you but here it's more or less like you know your friends your family can't really come the is that yeah you are basically just like alone you have friends but you can invite people you have like um two invitation and one invitation can bring two people in so i'm going in with this dove so it's usually different you know in nigeria for example you have like your family your friends people are around people are cooking but here i really don't know they are trying but it definitely can't be work home actually but anyways i have never attended any of my graduation before and hopefully by next year by the grace of god that's going to be like my first graduation ever ever that i'm going to attend so for primary school i did attend my graduation and most times or all the times you know it usually falls like july maybe a day to my birthday or my birthday so like my secondary school graduation was on my birthday but i didn't attend my first degree too i did not attend so hopefully by next year by god's grace you know that'll be like my first graduation so it's gonna be loud <laughs> anyways i'm just trying to like prep i'm almost done i'm gonna show you guys like my full outfit i'm really not putting on so much because of course i'm not the one graduating so there is no point dressing more than the graduates or even dressing above those that are graduating and i think like generally i am not really a complicated person when it comes to dressing makeup and all those things so just very simple and basic i have friends anyways that are graduating of course my roommates and other friends too so it's fine then for my perf i'll be going in with this rig london and also i'll be mixing this with this romando because you are going to do a lot of hugging today you are going to be hugging people congrats 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 so it's nice to you know smell so nice so when you are hugging people at least they can perceive like your perf 
but apart from that generally you should also smell nice so this is what i have i've not eaten guys so i'll just go ahead and eat and then show you guys like what my full outfit looks like it's definitely just like this off shoulder top with this cape and a pair of jeans and maybe a sneakers definitely and that is pretty much what it looks like so i'll show you guys like my full outfit and then bring you guys along you guys are gonna see you know like the whole event as much as i can and i hope you guys enjoy it so while we are preparing for next year let's go and celebrate with others so yeah <laughs> You know, like, let me tell you guys, like, the reason why I haven't attended any of my graduation before. It's simply because, like, growing up, the reason why I haven't attended any graduation from primary school to secondary to first degree is simply because growing up, of course, like, my mom and my dad are the ones that are in charge of um you know like taking care of you so when it's time to graduate my mom is always like oh we don't have enough money there is no money to buy new clothes new hair you know cook and all of that so the best thing is that you don't have to go so that you don't go there and then you feel like you are not up to it or you feel like you are not in the class so for secondary school because it was a boarding school so most of us came back for the graduation and people actually like dressed overdressed your parents will come around to cook and just to celebrate but for one reason or the other like my mom wasn't even getting all those things at all because not because she doesn't want to but because she's always like trying to see if it's really important or if it's really necessary considering the fact that she doesn't have like enough money to carry out such projects so She's going to be like, you want to graduate, the cost of this ceremony now, for an example, is like, let's say, 50k. You can use this 50k to, like, pay your next year tuition fee. You can use this 50k to, like, you know, this is your school fees or add up for your school fees for the next section or for the next phase of life. So, why do you want to, like, spend all the money just for graduation and that's because she definitely doesn't have the money so she just used that as an excuse but i'm gonna say that growing up or being in that situation at that point is actually very bad because that day you're gonna feel like a bit down you're gonna feel a bit um down a bit lonely because you're gonna see your friends posting pictures your friends are gonna be posting videos your friends are going to like show you like the um graduation clothes graduation gown and then you are nowhere to be found like you are not even in the venue talk less about not being among them so for her she's always like there's no money for that we can use this money to do something else so there is no point wasting such money on graduation so i'm gonna say that i think um if you have the money I think it's just good you do that because those are events or memories that are going to stick to your child or to your children but if you don't have the money it's okay for you to explain to them to understand or just do it according to what you have so i felt like in a way if she really wanted to or if it was important as much as we the children really want it um maybe not something so big maybe not an expensive clothes maybe not cooking you know like you can just get like a very simple clothes and you might not cook or just buy snacks just do something that is within your budget and just be there you know the, the most important thing is being in that moment being in that environment and you know just enjoying the vibes but i also get a point that it doesn't really make sense whereby people are coming with food people are coming all glammed up people are coming all dressed and then you are coming on a very very low budget that is easy or obvious to tell like your problem like to tell like your background history or to tell like where you are coming from so your friends are all glammed up they are all fine they are all needs and then you are now coming and you look a bit lower than them sometimes it can also affect like your child's self-esteem mentally because your child is going to feel a bit bad that ah, look at how my friends are dressing and i'm not that my friends parents are cooking and i'm not cooking so in order for her to avoid those situations whereby you be in the event and then you feel like you are not supposed to be there because you are not dressing good enough or you don't fit into that class she will just tell you that there is no point going for the events at least you're in your house you can only feel sad and just cry for the moment but 
you are not under that situation whereby you have to compare yourself with your friends or you have to feel like you are not doing enough so i really want to know like what do you think what is your opinion do you think that you know being in that moment maybe not missing up to the standard of people or maybe not you know doing things up to the standard of what people are doing but being in that moment on a very low budget like very low budget based on what you can afford maybe like a trip to dress maybe just buying snacks or maybe not buying anything and just being in that moment um even though your child might not really see it that way at that point and also it can also like affect the child's self-esteem seeing like your friends you know being cute and fine and then you are not there you are not into the class or you not even going at all for the event so that you don't have a situation where you have to compare yourself with your friends at least you're absent they don't know where you are you can be sick you can be you know you can be at home anything can come up let me know like what you prefer because i think those are basically like the two options and for her for every of the graduation it's just best you don't go so i'm also very grateful to that i'm also very grateful that you know hopefully by god's grace next year is going to be like the first graduation <laughs> and i feel like i'm so proud of myself because like being here in a foreign place doing like my second degree my masters taking all all you know emotions in taking everything in the fact that you know at this point where i am sponsoring myself for education is when i'm going to be witnessing my graduation so i'm going to go all out so just in case you see me going all out know that this is the reason behind it okay <laughs> anyway let me know what you guys think um the options in the comment section i am pretty late now and i'm going out with my friends but let me show you guys what the invitation card looks like before i head out so this is what it looks like um we just have like the school and then we have invitation and at this back they wrote some things in polish i really don't know what it is except i go ahead to translate it and here yeah, inside this we just have like the timetable for the courses so 2 p.m they listed out all the faculty we have economics we have animal production we have engineering we have food nutrition joint information partial management horticulture wood science so they basically just listed out like all the faculties or departments for international students so let me also say that this convocation is for international students the one starting by 12 why the one um we had one that took place by 11 11 11 a.m and that is for polish students so because the classes polish students have like their classes separate and international students have their classes separate and this is simply because for some polish classes they they speak polish to them as their classes regular which most of them will not be able to cope in an international class where we are speaking english fully so these are the faculty available for international students and then we just have the graduates of this university invited for their graduation we have the time the venue and this invitation is for two people so this is simply what the invitation card looks like so let's go i've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same, as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago
guys i am so exhausted i've been moving relocating from one dormitory to another and it stresses me out like ha huh? the last couple of days have been so stressful i have a video where i showed you guys like what the three dormitory looks like like the three rooms dormitory looks like i am currently in a two room but i don't know if it's okay for me to show you guys what the room looks like so maybe as time goes on i might create like another video on the two rooms and also on the single room so i had my hair cut yesterday because i was looking so stressed up it was showing on my face you know and i just had to like reduce the hair so that i can have like a very different look and I feel like it's natural or it's normal, you know, when you cut your hair, it gives you like a very different look. So when you cut your hair, it gives you like a different look entirely and this is what it looks like so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and bleach it yeah tint it to gold in color as usual so let's go ahead now and mix the dye so for the dye i am making use of this um white haired agent this is what it looks like and you guys i feel like your hair you know like when you cut your hair or when you make your hair it kind of like brings out your face you know just gives you like a very i don't know how to explain but it brings out the beauty of your face and if you are stressed up you can also tell from your hair also so it's basically just like a two-way thing you know so i went ahead to like just cut it and ah god i've been stressed i'm not even going to lie it's been so stressful for me so that is a powder form i'm making use of this plastic it's actually too big but it is what it is so this is a powdered foam this is actually going to be like my first night in my new room if i eventually sleep here <laughs> they checked me out yesterday i don't know like i've not figured out where to place you guys but it's fine they checked me out yesterday but i still slept in my previous room so this will be like my first time sleeping here i could have loved to show you guys the room but privacy and for me it's okay if i'm staying alone i don't mind but i also have to consider like my roommates also um and we are just getting to know each other right so for the applicator i'm making use of this applicator this is what it looks like it's like a liquid foam so i basically just like mix it and then apply it on my hair so one thing i noticed about this dye so far is that it gives me like different colors so i've tinted my hair like about three times this year and all the shades are not the same like they don't give me the same shade of gold so now i think it is lighter i think it again another time is darker it doesn't give me like it doesn't give me like a particular shade I don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out <laughs> but yeah so basically I'm just like mixing them up before I apply them on my hair and I feel like what I mix is actually small so it's gonna be like this add more because i feel like it's small <laughs> and if there's space in between like if i apply this and then i stop before i apply another one i might end up having um i might end up having like different shades of gold because of that break in between right so i'm just trying to see how best i can achieve that bad smell 
Bah, it smells. <laughs> So I would love to change this white top and put on like a black top because I know that I'm going to have um, stains of the tinted dye on my clothes and just because I'm not ready to like throw away this clothes. But let me show you guys something else I also love about this room. I love the fact that it has like a lot, not, not a lot but it's actually a lot of flowers. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So it's safe to say flower mom in the comment section okay so i'm becoming like a flower mom let me show you guys like the plants and go ahead and change my clothes while i continue my hair let me know at the end of this video what color suits me most this is like black and then when i'm done transforming you guys will let me know what color you think is based in the comment section so i don't know like the names of these plants literally but you can see like they're actually like very cute i love the fact that this flower vase has like different colors this is like flower and then this we have this plant that's gonna be you know so we have that at the window side and let me show you guys what my view looks like so basically i don't know if you guys can see that on that edge but my view basically is just like the neck um, the express thing you can see cars moving this is what like, my view looks like just seeing cars and dreaming and hoping of when I'm gonna buy my car makes no sense I got joy in chaos I got peace that makes no sense you not for I put my faith in Jesus, yeah, he never let me down, faithful in every situation. I know you told your friend you're not okay, and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way, and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need Today, I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey Stay 
morning guys how you guys doing welcome you all to my channel i don't know where this you know video is going to be maybe at the beginning at the middle at the ending i don't know so 